Daniel is here for two days, Thursday and Friday, to work with us and practice. October 2nd and 3rd. Yeah. It felt like five weeks. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we had so much practice. We practiced for like five hours on Friday and Thursday we practiced from like at least three hours and we had a performance. It was a lot of playing. Definitely. I think it's very important that what I'm trying to do as a composer now is think about the social ramifications of music. I feel like I proved to everyone else that hard work really does pay off because here we are. And now that we used to work so much on leadership, I feel like they think we've reached the point of leadership. But like me, Lewis, and Kirby have taken it too far and we have become leaders. I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, he's gonna be like super strict on the way he wants his piece to be play played and but when he actually came DVR was so friendly almost like a teenager like he understood us When the moment came to play, I just got filled with all the energy because Sebastian just gave, like, gave me this look and that look was like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready, of course. And just a little fire in my heart. But not a fire, more like a... More like an inferno. <laughs> yeah, but a good one. You know, like blue inferno. A red, blue. <laughs> you know, a blue fire is hot, right? And I had, um, Sebastian put on Josh's tie and I was like wow like here we are and you know it's the real deal and Sebastian obviously cares about all of us he even to the point where he's like oh you know let's fix your tie you know like you know when I was when I was getting dressed too I came up to Sarah and I was like oh is my scarf fun I feel like those are things that family does from one another and here we are we've worked together a long time enough to like, consider each other family He wasn't afraid to mix what other people would hate to mix. Some people do not want DJs with violins. <laughs> but I think things like that is what, it's what creativity is all about and what makes a person the person they are. And I don't think anything could sound better than a DJ and a violin too. I was just thinking about um, when we were on stage and he was giving each student, like us, a solo. But then he was also like, you're trying to learn something from your teachers, but at the same time, what can, what do you have to offer your teachers? And I think the fact that he gave us those solos made it even more extraordinary because they were like already on such a big performance and then we each got a chance to express ourselves even more. That was amazing. I just felt like that stage was almost like the world was like seeing me and like seeing how I played and I felt that I had to give even more than 100% like more than it was like now you gotta try your hardest this is what I was saying to myself so I kind of saw in the end that it was something really cool.
Damn, he got a trailer. I, 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 I got a smile on my face. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, that was tight. Nah, that was, oh my god, that made me feel happy. That he actually liked, what, a couple teenagers and and the actual, you know, formal Providence String Quartet had together, which is cool. Important for me to literally leave the stage tonight, give it over, you know? Allow someone else's voice to be heard. And that's what it's all about to me. You talk about going in a new direction. Well, new directions are very, very important, but I don't want to forget all the voices that need to be heard. When we're gone, who will call your name? When I was on stage, man, I no, there's no words I could explain how I felt. It's unexplainable. <laughs> um, when I was on stage, I was, like, overwhelmed. I think I felt like crying and jumping up and down at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but I was just, like, really, really happy to be playing with my teachers and my friends who I've known forever. I mean, we perform all the time, but this was the real deal, and it was amazing to be playing alongside our teachers. That's what made it the highlight, I guess. You know, how many people have the chance to play or even do something that they love and then be around even, just be around great people. Like, that's in itself is just lucky. And to have them support us 100% and be there when it's most important was awesome. Um, it was pretty amazing, I guess, learning alongside with our teachers. They usually teach us, which, you know, they're great teachers, but to be taught aside of them by Daniel is even better because we are all learning together and you know they tell us all the time of course we're equal but this brought it out so much because here we are learning together and that I think was the best thing ever. DBR concert and playing with our teachers was the turning point of my love for music. Yeah. It was just so awesome.